Hi, I'm here to show you some of the nitty gritty on how to use and enable Bitto's AI code completions in Visual Studio Code. Let's get started. I'm going to show you how to adjust the settings, including turning it on. I'm going to show you how it works, and I'm going to show you how you change your keyboard shortcuts. All right, so first to adjust the settings, it's pretty simple. You go here to File, Preferences, and you go to Settings, or you come down here to the gear icon and you go to settings from here. So let's do it from here. You're gonna search for Bitto, and you're gonna see under extensions here, three different options for Bitto. One is the AI code completions enabling auto completion. So this is enabling each line as, it, as you type it. Bitto will make a code suggestion, so you wanna turn that on. Uh, you have enable comment to code which is, uh, as you make a comment, we will generate a block of code for you. Uh, you wanna turn that on. And the last setting is how long you want us, Bitto, to wait before we make a suggestion, before you, let's say, stop typing. Uh, so it's the default value is 100 milliseconds, so one-tenth of a second. If you make it 1,000, then Bitto would wait one second for you to pause. You would pause, we would wait one second, and then we would make a suggestion. So some people like to adjust how quickly they want Bitto to make suggestions and they don't like too many suggestions. For now, just for the purposes of this demo, I'll keep it at 100. We recommend you keep it somewhere between 100 and 400 milliseconds. All right, so completion. Let's say I'm in this file code search and I realize, hmm, I haven't declared my API as a constant. So we see those three dots. And now Bitto has made a suggestion here, and I can just hit tab to accept it, and it's now accepted. Or let's say that I have this TypeScript file for sentiments. I want to understand the sentiment of some capability. So I type a comment here. I say determine whether the sentiment of text is positive, use a web services. I hit enter. You see those three dots? That's Bitto generating suggestions. Now I can iterate through them either by clicking this with my mouse or typing alt and the right bracket to go through the suggestions. Uh, and then when I find a suggestion I want, I can hit tab. Great. All right, now let's say that I wanna change the way that I go uh, hit the next suggestion. Um, and I want to, let's say, for example, use the right arrow key or the left arrow key. So what I want to do is go back to File, Preferences. Now I want to hit go to Keyboard Shortcuts. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is gonna, I'm going to type in Bitto. And um, there's a couple different things you can change here. So one is if I want to be able to just call suggestions when I want to be able to call them, um, that's right here. Shift Alt C. So some people want to turn off code suggestions except when they call it through some keyboard command. So then what you do is you hit edit here and then you put in the command that you wanted. So let's say I wanted to make it Shift I. I could hit enter. Now it's changed it to Shift I. If you want to hit the next for auto suggestions, it's set as Alt right bracket. So if I wanted to change that, let's say to the right arrow key, I could hit right right here, and now it's set as right arrow. So now I can just hit right and left arrows if I change the left arrow one too, and it's much easier to do that. So again, these are different things that users cho choose to set as the, for their personal preferences. All right, great. We hope you enjoy our new AI code completions that understands your code, and are a happy coder. Thanks. Bye.